it's me, Tracy. It has been two years since my last um, video update. Wow, three years ago is when I had my procedure done. I had, um, was diagnosed with CCSVI, and um, they did the procedure angioplasty where they ballooned open my jugular veins and my azagus, um, and it was incredible. I had immediate relief from my MS symptoms. And then about a year and a half um, later, is when some of those symptoms began to slowly creep in. I knew that I couldn't afford to have angioplasty procedures done on a regular basis, but yet I also knew that it did help me a lot, but it wasn't a cure. Kind of like people with um, heart-related issues, and if they have to have angioplasty done, um, and they're on medication, it doesn't necessarily you know, change their body or their health unless they change their diet. Some interesting facts about the immune system is that, listen to this, getting under five hours of sleep a night has been shown to greatly depress the immune function in your body. And studies have shown that people who lack humor in their lives tend to have less protective immune responses. Dieting decreases natural killer cells functionality therefore weakening the immune system. And did you know that 80% of the, of the immune system comes from your gut? That's why nutrition is really important because your immune system is connected to your brain. Um, this is my favorite. Regular massages have been shown to increase the number and aggressiveness of NK cells and protective antibodies, thereby giving the immune system a boost Yes, but the number one way to, bu to boost the body's immune system is to reduce stress. The number one way. I want to read this quote. It says, not only are essential nutrients critical for the production and maintenance of key germ-fighting cells in the immune system, but a balanced diet also has a strong effect on vascular function and the immune system is dependent on blood flow. Dr. Terry Walls wrote a book called Minding My Mitochondria. And it's a, it's a great book, and I would highly recommend that you check it out and, and educate yourself on your body. Um, she also is on TED Talks Nutrition. She did a, a video documentary on her life about how she overcame secondary progressive MS through health and diet and nutrition. And if you can, get on YouTube and check it out. Check out her um, information. Also, um, uh, kristensraw.com. She has a blog also and YouTube videos. She's really helped me in learning more about you know, educating myself and my body and what to eat, nutrition and diet. Also, um, she's got great recipes, really great recipes. You'll want to check her out. So caring for my soul. Our soul, that was my body, this is a soul. Our soul is who we are as a person, not only physical, but psychological, the psychological part of who you are, your mind, your will, and your emotions. Your mind, the way you think, um, are they positive thoughts, negative, your will? Um, do you have the will to want to live, or is your will, do you struggle on a daily basis of whether or not you even really have that strong will to live because of your pain or because of what you're going through? Or your emotions, um, do they control you depending on how you feel? Or do you control your emotions? And basically tell your emotions, this is, this is how, what I'm gonna, how I'm going to feel, because you can do that. Now, the number one scripture that I have really enjoyed and meditated on, because we all have good days and we have bad days, and, and that's, that's life, right? But in Psalms 42, it says, when my soul is in the dumps. And how many can relate to that? Sometimes your soul is in the dumps. It says, I rehearse everything I know about you. So when my soul is in the dumps, I rehearse what I know about God. He is good. He is faithful. He is here for me. I'm not alone. And that he can meet all of my needs. And he can take care of me better than anybody else can. He's more than enough. I believe that we're made up of three parts. A third of, our, of us, a third of who we are is our body. A third is our soul. And a third is the spirit. Um, I also believe that the spirit has the potential to be the strongest part 
of who we are. Hmm. And I also, well, I believe that if the Spirit of God is alive in me, and it's in full operation, um, that everything else in my life is secondary. It's secondary to my life's purpose, meaning that our bodies, our physical body is one day going to pass away along with our soul, but our spirit is going to live forever. It's going to live eternal. So that's like really important. It's important to have a spirit, the spirit in you, um, God's spirit in you, um, be alive and be healthy and be whole as well. And for me, the way that I like to feed my spirit is through meditation, through meditation in the Bible. You know, I believe that it, it's the truth and it's life-giving and it shapes my thoughts and my emotions. Um, it gives me a hope for today that God loves me. He loves me and, and, and He has a future. He's a future for me. He has a future for you and that nothing can separate me from from God's love. No failure, no disease, no burden, no rejection or brokenness or heartbreak or even any disappointment can ever separate me from God's love. That's really, really, really good news. And I have to remind myself of that daily. And when I'm in meditating on the Bible, it's not only feeding my spirit, but it's actually feeding my body and my, my soul it's, it's all three. It's, taking, it's kind of like a medication that's, that's feeding all three, my body, my soul, and my spirit, and it's great. So I just want to encourage you, um, wherever you're at in your journey of wholeness, to pursue, to pursue um, health in those three areas, and um, it will make a difference for you. It has for me. I'm doing great. Just want to let you know I'm doing great, really good. Um, the best that I've, have, I've ever been. So I hope you have a great Christmas and that you take care of yourself and your family and God bless you and look forward to doing another video someday. I don't know when, but someday. God bless. Merry Christmas. The Savior